Hello, I'm John Frelsto with Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to show you some magic moves on the top spin one hand backhand. You hit some shots down the line, some cross court. The video is filled with a ton of tips, little golden nuggets that are going to help your one hand backhand. Enjoy. Got to be careful. We don't want to get enamored with technique. It's important, right? It's important. But once, once we get into matches, it's really going by feel and your natural instincts. I've hit enough one hand backhands. Kind of, I feel like I understand this, you know, how to hit this shot and some of the secrets to hitting down the line and cross court. I've got the slinger bag. I've got my four targets. So I've got my two deep targets. And uh, one thing to keep in mind with those targets is they're fairly deep into the court. My goal is not to hit them. My goal is to get that ball, is to attack the air above the net and then make that ball absolutely dive before the cone. So coaches, if you have players and you're telling them to hit those cones, I truly believe you're doing them a disservice. The pros are not aiming that deep into the court. In my mind, I could be wrong. Leave a comment below because even though I have these gray highlights and you think there'd be some wisdom here, I don't know at all. So if you're at this channel thinking I do, I don't. But I am open to suggestions and comments. But I just remember Borg, Bjorn Borg, the great Bjorn Borg, saying that you know he would aim like three, four feet past the service line and if the ball hit the baseline, he got lucky. So when I'm playing, I play with margin. I'm not looking to hit those lines. Actually, I, I really don't see those lines. I feel these big targets and I'm aggressive to those targets. So anyway, I'm gonna hit some cross court, um, some down the line deeper. And then I've got the shorter, I've got the cones that are placed uh, shorter or closer to the net. Those are those golden squares where we're looking to get that ball to try to pull the opponent off the court. So once again, I'm attacking the air above the net, but then I'm gonna pull that ball down to the ground and try to generate an angle to really hurt them. So let's show you some ground strokes and I'm just gonna share some of the tips as I'm hitting here, what kind of like what comes to me naturally. I'll share it with you. And once again, don't forget, leave some comments. Hit the like button if you like the haircut. Maybe a like and a notification bell. Sorry if I'm asking too much. All right, let's do this. One great way to set the left side is just take this, use the left hand and just set that racket here. Grab and hit. Set that left side. Really looking to compress and lift. Almost like I'm putting a side spin on the ball. Too far away. All right, so here's a great litmus test to see how heavy your ball is. I'm gonna hit these shots cross court. I'm gonna see if I can tack that air above the net, make the ball dive, and hit the back fence off a of one bounce. If I can do that, that tells me my ball has, it tells me my ball is penetrating, but yet has enough spin to kick and hit that back fence. So here's a great little litmus test to see how heavy your ball is. So let's hit some of these shots, see what happens. I feel as if a closed stance Helps me a little better here as well. You gotta accelerate to get that back fence. There we go. Don't be afraid to attack the air above the net. 
Oh. Oh. A little late. Oh. Oh. That was a good one. That felt good. So there you go. Tack that air, make it dive. You gotta get some of that ball, right? You gotta compress it and lift at the same time. That's gonna get that heavy penetrating shot. All right, now I'm gonna hit some down the line. When I'm going down the line, I'm not hitting the line. I'm feeling that deep cone and maybe put a little side spin on the ball to make it fade back away off the court. So let's show you some of those shots. So you can see the fade. You can see the shape when I hit it, right? I pull across. You can see that ball fade off the court. A la Chuck Tomlin and John Carpenter. John Carpenter, a CTM tennis, right? I'm pulling across. And that gives me feel, and I'm able to get that ball to pull off the court. Stay loose when you do this. Stay loose when you're learning how to pull across the ball. Your racket will work so much better for you. I have like a two grip out of 10. I've got a two out of 10 as far as grip tension, not overhitting as well. We have a tendency to overhit the shot. So there you have it. Cross court down the line, some tips, some magic moves to make that one hand backhand a little better. You'd be surprised how many people watch these videos who are not subscribed to the channel. So please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, that notification bell, leave a comment. What did you see here today that you'd like more information on or something you'd like to see different? Make sure you share the video if you really enjoyed this content. If you like the haircut, leave a comment, share it with somebody else, I don't know. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.